Hi there, as usual, it's me, just a voiceover. You are watching review machines, and we start right away, without any introductions. Look what an interesting thing we brought you this time. This is a Dragster Sport Snow Scooter, manufactured by Dragster Moto. Let's start another, and as we can see, the equipment fits into the trunk of a car, and it's easy to assemble it, which is a significant plus. The largest part of the machine is 135 cm long. Well, we are going to assemble it now. We have two components in front of us. You can handle them alone, but it's much more convenient to do everything with an assistant. I note the convenient handles. They make it easier to assemble and carry. The two parts are connected with a special lock and bolts. Then we install a chain, put a tensioner, then chain protection, fasten the steering rack, connect the wiring, put the front ski in the place, and it remains only to fill up gasoline. Well, now the very first launch. Let's try it. It seems our scene is ready and we can't go. Yes, my friends, spring in the full swing, but apparently they forgot to tell winter about it. I don't remember such a blizzard for a long time. However, this is even good, because today we have a winter type of equipment on test. More than that, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but according to my data, such snow scooters are a relatively new type of winter transport. They have become widespread only in recent years, and now are becoming more popular every day. Today we will try to find out why these cars are rapidly gaining popularity, what are their pros and cons, and as always we will conduct all the key tests and look at the design features. But first of all, as always, I urge you, my friends, to subscribe to our channel, it's very important for us. Let's start with the construction. And it's quite simple here. It doesn't differ much from a motor sled, for example. The only differences are in the body, which most resembles a large scooter. It's based on a platform frame, made using plasma cutting without welding. A rider is standing or sitting on the platform. There is a track and the steering ski in the front. The engine is installed in the front. The length of the snow scooter with the ski is 2450 mm. The bit is 400 mm. The whole thing weighs 125 kilos. 20 horsepower Lefan engine is installed here. It's working with the CVT. The manual stator is quite convenient. But there is also an electric stator. Well, shall we try it? All winter we have been waiting for snow, and we only got it now. And today we are facing the huge peels of puffy snow with a decent depth. And it's a good test for our car. Let's go! I must admit, my friends, this is my very first trip on this snow scooter. And for some reason, it seemed to me that it would be even more difficult. In fact, the dragster is very stable on the move. Even complete beginners like me will not have problems with handling it. The car remains stable, even when I cross the tracks from old snowmobile rules. The dynamics of the dragster turned out to be very nimble, which is not surprising with a 20 HP engine and lightweight. The extreme accelerations are still not to be expected, but you will not have to be bored when riding this thing. It takes a little time getting used to maneuvering. It's very similar to snowmobile in here. When you are turning, the snow scooter significantly resists trying to maintain stability. It's necessary to shift the body towards the turn and tilt the car. Thus, smooth maneuvers are obtained. You can turn sharper. I go sharp maneuvers when reducing speed. Plus, you can help yourself with your foot in a turn. In general, according to the first feelings, it's a very interesting piece of equipment. 
it's time to move on to certain tests, but before that, I'll show you some more interesting details and the design. There is a track with a length of 2070mm, a width of 3080mm, there is a rower suspension, and as a result, the snow scooter is quite bouncy. The suspension is felt on the move. There are still hooks on the platform, but I think they need to be increased, since they freeze very quickly. A canister is fixed in the back, which will never be superfluous, and under the cover we see the battery compartment, the engine is in the front, the battery are in the back, there is an excellent weight distribution, it would also be nice to make the battery compartment waterproof, so that snow doesn't get in here. There is a bright headlight in front, under protective steel visor. There are also parking lights at the back, and we see here a trailer device for towing a sledge. It should be noted the decent quality of the painting and the thickness of the metal. The radiator and the chain are protected. Everything is very simple on the steering wheel. But there are heated handles, which is very pleasant. By the way, the brake here is hydraulic, and it works very efficiently. Another important thing is that the kit includes a removable comfortable seat, which will be very useful for those who plan long trips on a snow scooter. But we don't need it today, so we didn't put it on. Well, it's time to continue our tests, and we will be helped by the already well-known motocross champion. Let's go! As we can see, our dragster is quite a fun thing, that is quite capable to bring a lot of fresh emotions and even adrenaline. Yes, the motor is not the largest here, but the weight is minimal. But the entertaining rides are not the only thing that dragster is good for. If necessary, it can become a utility hard worker. This is provided by a jockey engine and excellent cross-country ability, which will be discussed later and the trailer device in the base for the use of a sledge or some cargo transportation. And the good thing is that the design is quickly collapsible, and the dimensions are quite compact. All this allows you to transport a snowmobile in the trunk of a crossover, for example, and this is a huge plus that saves us from having to have a trailer. Let's try to figure out what is at maximum speed. Although the conditions today are not the easiest for this. As we can see, there is a lot of snow on the fields, and this is a pudgy one. But let's try it anyway. To gain speed, it's important to take an optimal position on the platform, a little closer to the engine. Then the pressure of the track on the snow is evenly distributed. When we shift back and the snowmobile sinks deeper in the snow and the speed becomes lower. In the current conditions, as we can see, we were able to accelerate up to 45 km per hour, which is a very decent result in my opinion. In general, the manufacturer claims a speed up to 60 km per hour, which I think will be possible if driving on hard snow or ice. We are shifting into the woods, where unlike the fields there is some noticeably more snow. Let's try how the dragster goes here. As you can see, due to the light weight, the snow scooter goes perfectly through the deep snow. And here is another serious advantage of this machine, its higher maneuverability especially when compared with a snowmobile. Yes, there is no gearbox, and therefore no reverse gear, which can be regarded as a disadvantage. But is it necessary with such maneuverability? I'm not sure. Write your opinion in the comments.
By the way, if you are talking about disadvantages, I have already talked about hooks on the platform. Then I would also like a more protective cover around the muffler, to eliminate the risk of getting burnt, because a regular one may not be enough. Meanwhile, we found a couple of places with the maximum depth of snow. We probably won't see more this season. The dragster goes here without any problems at all. But let's stop here to complicate the chest. Here we will have to start and even turn, which can be a difficult task in deep snow. And indeed, we are getting stuck here. But this is a great opportunity to demonstrate what advantage a small weight gives us. The rider lifts the rear part of the track and simply shifts it, which will allow us to continue moving without any problems. With any snowmobile such a trick is unlikely to work. Well, after the rides, we take the snow out of our boots and get closer to the base to discuss our favorite topic, talking about the prices. It should be noted that there are various modifications of Dragster snow scooters. They can be equipped with both 20 HP and 15 HP engines. Such a modification with 20 HP engine costs about $2000. Well, let's call today, my friends. Thanks for having a ride with us. Please post your comments what you think of this scooter. Consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. Stay with us, there will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.